it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more Terraria. Oh yeah, last time we took on the pumpkin moon, which was pretty cool, but it's not gonna be as cool as the frost moon. Oh yeah, now that's sort of like the pumpkin moon, except it's even more challenging. So yeah, that's, uh, that's good to know, definitely good to know, but I need to, uh, I need to craft something, so I'm going to need some Souls of Fright. Again, you get these from fighting against Skeletron Prime. And then I need some Hallowed Bars, I think 10. Uh, I'm gonna double check the recipe in just a moment, but I think it needs, like, some silk. Uh, no, I wasn't trying to talk to you! Alright, here we go, let's just take all of that, and, uh, yeah, is that all that's necessary? No, I'm missing something, of course. Okay, okay, what do I need? Oh, ectoplasm, that's the other thing, I'm pretty sure. So let's just go ahead and... Oh, I have that in ores, because it makes spectral bars, or specter bars, so I figured, eh, you know what, might as well. Okay, so, yeah, 20 silk, 5 ectoplasm, oh, I guess it doesn't even need any hallowed bars, that's just the, uh, pumpkin moon one, but yeah, 5 souls of fright, that gets you the naughty present, so we can only use this at night time, and it works very similar to the pumpkin moon one, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and summon that in just about 12 hours in, uh, terraria time, but yeah, um, gonna go with mostly the same strategy, however, I did go ahead and I built something rather cool. You know what, let me show you in just a moment. There's something that's very handy to make before this fight. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some fishing rod stuff, cause I gotta go fishing in the tundra. Actually, you know what, let me go ahead and grab my, uh, my angler stuff too. I should have time for this. Um, sure, you know what, we'll go ahead and equip the angler earring. Uh, there we go. All right. All right. So let me go. Uh, wow, that's weird. I'm a werewolf right now. Huh. Go figure. That seems odd. It's not even daytime. Okay. Or nighttime. So over here, I did a little bit of work over at my, uh, my arena area. I definitely did some improvements around here. So, the most notable improvement would be the addition of these traps and some lava down here. So these are just spiky ball traps that I got in the Lizard Temple. And, uh, some torches. And then this stuff down here is Asvalt. And I might have mentioned that, but I'll show you that in just a second. I want to catch something first. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go, the frost minnow. That's the thing I wanted. Uh, let me just see what that is. Okay, so this can be used to craft something pretty cool. Actually, it's pretty warm in thinking about it. So yeah, I'm not gonna need more than one. You really only need one per uh, frost moon, so that's not too bad. But yeah, I wanna make this thing called a warmth potion. This reduces damage from cold sources, and while that sounds rather vague, it actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's a 30%, um, a 30% damage reduction from any sort of frost enemies or cold enemies. So it's great while you're exploring the snowy biomes and stuff like that, but it's like insanely good when you're taking on the frost moon because it will work against all of the enemies there. So that's really, really good. So we're gonna use that for this upcoming fight. Um, all right, where did I put my, oh, I already put my bait away. I got frost daggerfish. Oh, I didn't put my fishing rod away? No, I did. Huh, I wonder why I'm missing a spot. Oh, well, whatever the case. Oh, I know, it's my angler earring. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's get rid of, oh, you know what? I think I've, I don't remember if I even mentioned I got the zephyr fish. Well. I got the zephyr fish, so there. I'll just get rid of the Atlantic cod. It's not really a big deal. It does the same thing as bass. I really should be um should be doing something with those because they do give a little buff to your stats. But eh, whatever the case. Um, all right. So you know what? For right now, I'm just gonna put. Do I not have any titanium? I really need to act fast. I'm sorry. So 
what I did, I built this thing called the Blendomatic. I talked about it, but I finally bought it. It is used to craft uh, stone bricks, or not stone bricks, stone blocks. Two stone blocks with one slime, and that makes the stuff called asphalt, which is great. It lets you run really fast on it, which is pretty nice. I decided I might as well build some of that. Um, so I did that over at the other place. Uh, titanium. Do I really not have any ice slime banners? That's surprising. Wait, I don't want to talk to you. Could you just move out of the way, please? And then this book thing. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Now, I also went ahead and I made this really cool tool thing called the, uh... No, not the, uh, the... Where is it? Let's see, I put a lot of stuff away in here. Um, nope, second chest. Okay, yeah, the grand design. People have been telling me to make this for a while. It is really cool. Uh, in order to make this, you need to make the multicolor wrench, which takes one of each of the colored wrenches and the wire cutter. And you need the ruler, and you need the mechanical eye, which the mechanic sells. If ever you don't know what you're doing, just, uh... Check with the guide, he'll give you the recipe. But yeah, this has all these cool toggle things on the side that let you kind of toggle like the ruler and toggle whether or not you're seeing stuff. Now I'm holding it, so I'll always see it, but it also lets me place and cut wires and actuators. You can select multiple at a time, and it's really cool. I mean, I'm not gonna show this off right now, but maybe sometime if you guys really wanna see it. But yeah, you can also change the colors of the wires. So, in a nutshell, this is how it works. Let me, uh, turn it off here so you can see it without the wires. So, this switch will have a one-timer trigger on this asphalt thing, and it'll also drop these spiky balls, which is nice. Um, so, it'll spawn enemies, they'll fall in, they'll take lava damage, spike damage, it'll just be a very bad time for them. And I can just turn it off like that. Oh, although it doesn't seem to be working, uh, entirely right with my thing there. I'll figure that out. So, uh, what am I doing wrong with that? Oh, I'm turning off the thing. I should probably put, like, a gate or something here, because I want to make sure that this and the, uh, the green wire have to be turned on in order for this to do that. And I can do that by buying an AND logic gate from the Steampunker, I do so believe. A little more complicated than your average run-of-the-mill stuff, but good to know. Definitely good to know. So, yeah, um, it was expensive, but it's not really that bad. And all the drops shouldn't be too poorly affected. I mean, look, even copper coins, they stay in there. I think this is enough lava to take out any enemies. Well, we're just gonna have to go for it. I figure, you know what? Having something there is probably better than nothing. So we're gonna do mostly the same thing. We're just gonna fight here. We're gonna use the uh, Shroomite with the headgear. So I have the increased arrow damage. Let me swap out the Architect Gizmo pack, because I do not need that right now. And yeah, pretty much the same equipment as ever, except this time I'm bringing along that Warmth Potion, which should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, so same thing. Wanna start it at 7.30. And then, uh, we'll just go on through the night. I don't think there's anything I'm missing here. I guess I might as well buff right now to summon this second one. Just to have it floating around. Um, but yeah, I don't really think I need to do anything different. I think that the Holy Arrows 2,300 should be more than enough. So we're just gonna wait. I'll see you when we're ready. So... In thinking about it, I did want to talk just a little bit about the event before I begin. There's actually 20 waves in this one as opposed to 15. However, the first 15 are the main waves, and after that you have the bonus waves. So I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to, uh, to get to wave 20, but I'll certainly try. I think with the arena it should be pretty good. At least I hope. I actually haven't really played around with, like, a trap arena before. I've done the lava and stuff, but I think this should add some extra damage, which would be good. And I probably could even add more traps. But yeah. Now, some of the enemies in this will slow you or chill you. And that'll make it so you, uh, you move slower. 
and it's kind of nasty. You might also get frozen, so that's why I know I mentioned last time the Ankh Shield. I wanted to make that. That would give me total protection from that, as well as raise my defenses, but I didn't really get around to it. Should be fine. We should be okay, but I just thought I'd mention that. It's something to concern yourself about, and of course, the warmth potion is amazing in this, so we're gonna go with that. All right, well, let's hope this works. Um, here we go. All right, Frost Moon is a go. Very Christmas themed or holiday themed or whatever. You got elves, you got gingerbread men, you got all sorts of crazy things. Zombie elves, right, because you know, normal elves just aren't enough. So I'm just gonna spam the tsunami just to shoot as many of the stars as possible. We're already on wave three, which is good. I should probably buff too. <laughs> My bad. Wave four. Oh yeah, there's one of the mini bosses, Ever Scream. Sort of like the Morning Wood, but kind of frost-based. Shoots little uh, pine missiles, which are rather hard to see with all the uh, holy arrows going on. All right, let's just get through here. Okay, so got another one of them down there. 13,000 points. You also got the elf copter showing up now. Ow, those needles are getting me. Oh man, lots of needles. And the nutcrackers. So you definitely have to keep a very careful eye on your uh, uh, present mimic, that's funny. Uh, you definitely need to keep an eye on your health. Oh, there's Santa NK1. It's this kind of tank thing that shoots lasers and stuff at you. And it's pretty nasty. Thankfully, it's totally ground-based, so you don't really have to worry about dodging it quite as much. Just keeping free from its fire that it'll shoot at you. All right, so far this is going very well. I guess it did pay off to make that, that trapped arena place. All right, let's see, because that's just kind of doing some work down there. There's Krampus. Another of the enemies. There's a whole ton of hearts down there if I'm feeling brave, too. Alright. So there's the Santa MK1 or whatever. Or Mark 1, I guess it is. Or NK. So it's not Mark. NK1. Alright, so even more stuff. Oh, we gotta watch out for those presents. I'm pretty sure they explode. Alright, let's go closer to Everscream down here. Watch out for the pine needles. I think we got them. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh man, so much chaos going on down here. It's crazy. Now try to leave as many of the hearts as possible um, because it gives you a little pocket you can jump down to if you're in quick need of healing and you can't use a potion or something. Um, so I'm trying to avoid them for right now. It's not a big deal if you, you know, hit them or something. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Yeah, all those presents, they kind of fly down. Okay, so we're up to wave 10. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, man. Yeah, there's several Ever Screams going on right now. But again, the extra damage from the lava and from the spike traps and all that should add up pretty well. Now, if you have a Chlorophyte Shot Bow, which, you know, you might still be stuck with if you didn't get a Tsunami or you haven't taken on Duke Fishron yet, uh, you could still do this fight. You're probably pushing it, though, but you could still do it. Um, but I do recommend fighting Duke Fishron beforehand, just so you can get the Tsunami or any number of other good items that uh, he drops, which, you know... 
They're certainly worth it. I love me the Tsunami, though. This thing is just such a powerful bow. This combined with the Holy Arrows is just insane. So we're almost through Wave 10, and this is where I think we're going to fight the next boss. Yeah, the Ice Queen. Okay, so we got to watch out for this now. Ice Queen and Flacco. Yeah, so I don't see the Ice Queen yet. Thank goodness. I'm just going to shoot kind of randomly down below just to get whatever I can. When the Ice Queen shows up, it's time for me to take to the skies, because that thing is scary! Okay, so far so good. Oh, there she is! Alright, I gotta get out of here. So, ah! Yeah, I've been chilled. Uh, which means I'm slower, which is not good. However, with the Master Ninja gear, try to use that double dash. Oh my goodness, there she is. All right, let's see. She's the one that drops the best stuff. Oh, but that chill debuff really stinks. So once the chill debuff wears off, you can just kind of try to kite her if you can. Um, there we go. See, this is working out fine. But she does shoot ice waves at you. She shoots ice spikes. All of these things, I'm pretty sure, can cause... Oh, nice, a snowman cannon. Uh, I think all these things can cause... Uh, chilled, so you gotta watch out. There she is. Ah, oh, darn it. I got chilled! Alright, let's just kind of try to keep up the pressure on her. Oh, there she is. Again, the, uh, the ninja gear is super helpful just for dodging and stuff. Oh, darn it. Ran right into her. At least I didn't get chilled. That's good. All right, we're at wave 11. I think I need to do some more damage down below. I'd really like to get to wave 12. I'd really like to complete this whole thing. If I can get to wave 15, I'll be happy with that. But I might not be able to. But the good news is we've now seen all the enemies that there are. The Ice Queen is the toughest. And as you get further into the fight, you'll run into more and more Ice Queens, which is pretty crazy. Oh, no, they're frozen. Yikes. This is bad. Oh. All right, let me grab just a few of these hearts. Try to shoot her down if I can. Let's not forget about Everscream. Remember, each of these enemies gives a different amount of points when you kill them. So even though it's nice to focus on Ever or the Ice Queen, you don't want to focus all of your attention on her because otherwise you're not going to proceed through the waves. However, she's the- Whoa, what the heck is going on here? Alright. I guess there's just another Ice Queen, darn it. Ugh! Oh man, I've been frozen again. Alright, only an hour left to go. I don't think I'm gonna make it to wave 15, darn it! Alright, let's get back down here. Just try to wreck whatever I can. Alright, well we made it to wave 13 at least. Ah! Oh, yetis. I don't know if I've run into yetis yet. I might have been mistaken earlier when I said that's all the enemies there are. Ah! I'm just gonna go for it. I only got 10 minutes left. Come on! All right, at least I got that final ice queen. Oh, a goblin army's approaching. Well, isn't that just great? <laughs> oh, talk about way too late for a goblin army. They're not that much tougher. Oh, you know what? Let me, there we go. Okay, well, oh, hey, you don't want to go away? Not over, not done yet. 
All right, well, that was exciting. It wasn't quite as much of a success as I would have liked, but I did get the snowman cannon, which is pretty cool. Let's see how much money and stuff I got. Oh, there we go. Razor pine. That's a rather nice uh, magic item. And the Christmas hook. That's good. And the goblin army. Well, oh, there's the new enemy right there. The goblin summoner. And she's gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, 4,000 hit points, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, not really a problem now. However, if you fight the goblin army right when the... Uh, where, right when you enter hard mode, she'll definitely be a lot tougher then. And she, like, flies around and shoots stuff and it's really crazy. But, yeah, kind of not really a problem anymore. Sorry. However, she does have some pretty good drops. Uh, the Shadow Flame Knife is kind of fun. In fact, let me just try some of this stuff out. And the Hex Doll. So, the Shadow Flame Knife... It's a melee weapon, but it's, like, very ranged, which is really cool. Oh, I guess she only has 2,000 health. My bad. Yeah, I was thinking of, uh, expert mode. So, yeah, not too bad fighting her early on. Oh, the Shadow Flame bow. That's also a really nice high-velocity bow. Um, if you get this early on in hard mode, it's pretty damaging, pretty good. Um, especially with the Endless Quiver. Quite like it. And then the Shadow Flame Hex Doll just gives all these freaky kind of magic purple tentacle things that kind of reach over to uh, foes. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's not, like, amazing. But again, if you fight the Goblin Army and fight against the, uh, the Summoner here early on, it's pretty good. All right, so my question is, can I use this snowman cannon? <laughs> Let me try it out. Yeah, it shoots homing snowmen. And it's actually really nice for a uh, melee weapon. Or, I'm sorry, a ranged weapon. Um, If you like rockets and stuff. Now, I'm not normally much of a rocket person, but the nice thing about this is it has homing and it does not damage you with the explosions. Normally with rockets, if you're near the explosion, you'll take damage from it. But thankfully with this, it doesn't work that way, which is very nice. And then the, uh, the ignorant razor pine. Let's go with the hurtful razor pine. So this just rapid fires needles. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, yeah. So unfortunately we only made it to wave 15 of the, uh, or not even 13. We made it to wave 13. There's still some pretty cool items that we could get. So I think we might want to try this again. I need to get another warmth potion though. But yeah, for right now, I'm pretty fine with this. Um, I think we did good. Definitely good. It's a lot tougher than the, uh, than the pumpkin moon for sure. But I think almost the pumpkin moon could be more profitable just because it's easier to get to the final waves and you make so much money that way. All right, well, I'm going to get my inventory all sorted out. I guess I'll put some of this stuff in here um, for right now. But, yeah, an elf hat. That's kind of funny. A uh, Christmas hook. Yeah, let's try that out. I don't know if it's better or worse than the aluminum hook. Oh, my goodness, it has, like, little Christmas tree lights. It's so festive. <laughs> I like it. Um, Yeah, well, I guess I got to go craft up another Frost Moon thing. We're going to take that on one more time. See if I can get any further. Um, I don't really know what I could do different. I guess I'll make a wrath potion and maybe I should, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even entirely sure how well this thing worked. I almost fear that it was inhibiting spawns from happening. So maybe I'll just unwire it so there's no lava down below and just use the spiky traps. Just in case that was causing a problem with the spawns. Again, I didn't look it up too much. So, we'll have to see. Anyway, I, oh, Pinky's nearby. Die, Pinky. Thank you. All right, I'll see you in a moment. All right, so it's almost time. I went ahead and I unwired the uh, floor thing. We'll see how that works. I also added some flame traps here, just because, I don't know, I had them. I might as well. 
Okay, um, yeah, so hopefully this one will go a lot better. Uh, I did make some wrath potions, by the way. You can only make these if you have a corruption because it takes ebon koi, which you can only get from fishing there. Um, but yeah, that and some death weed, and yeah, increases damage by 10%. Can't go wrong with that. That with the archery potion should be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's do this. So far, so good. We're already at wave four. Although not like that takes too much effort. All right, there we go. There's Everscream. All right, wave five. That's good. Okay, so far everything's going all right. Um, I think by focusing myself a little closer to the ground, I'm definitely positioning myself better to take out the enemies there and thus advance through the waves a lot faster. Oh yeah, those spiky balls work so good. <laughs> okay, wave seven. Things are gonna get a little trickier now. There's Santa. Ah, let's not get shot by Santa. That's never a good thing. All right, where's Everscream at? Oh, darn, I didn't want that help. Okay, there's another Santa in K1. Just kind of fly over him. Whoa, too many helicopters. Out of the way, pals. All right, let's grab a few of those hearts. Wave nine. All right, so far we're doing all right. 10, 15, so we have plenty of time left. Try to dodge those lasers he shoots. And the rockets and the presents and literally everything. <laughs> Darn it. I'm almost wondering, maybe I don't even need the Master Ninja gear right now. I could probably swap it out when I take on the Ice Queen. Because I do like to have it for that, but... I feel like I could do even more damage beforehand. Oh, what are you doing up here, pal? All right, well, we're at wave 10. Let's try to do as much damage all over the place as possible. There's Krampus. Well, there was Krampus, <laughs> not anymore. Ever scream. All right, who else wants a piece of this, huh? Yeah, theoretically, this wrath potion should make the fight a lot faster. I'm sure that has something to do with this. Okay, here come the Ice Queens. Now, I don't want to take off to the sky as much as I did last time, because I think that was hurting my kills down below.
All right, let's see. Where is she at? Oh, she's spinning. She's shooting her spikes. The advantage of that is at least uh, when she does that, she's staying still, which can kind of help you rake some damage on, but she fires a lot of those spikes all over the place. All right. Oh, all right, let's get a little distance. Again, I'm chilled, so I, I'm a little slower than I was. <laughs> Getting a little slow in my old age, huh? Oh, chilled again. I hate being chilled. It just really messes with me, man. But I think that warmth potion's really helpful. All right, wave 12. Where's all the good stuff? I'm looking for all the really tough enemies, because they get the most points when you kill them. Okay. Eek. Alright, almost. I see a pretty cool weapon though. I definitely want to pick that up. Oh, where is it? Yeah, the North Pole. I'll show you this when I'm done with the fight, but it's pretty good to get. Great melee weapon. Okay, if I can just get to wave 15, I'll be happy. Okay, well, we're at 13 so far. That's where I got last time. So we're doing much better than the time before. Oh, man. Ah, oh, these rockets. Let me grab some of those hearts. Okay, so far so good. All right, one ice queen down. That's nice. All right, taking a little too much damage for my liking. Try to get Santa out of here. All right, well, we're at wave 14 now. If I can just get to wave 15, I'll be fine. Yeah, you need to do so much damage at this point, it's crazy. Oh man. All right, we don't have much time left. I don't know if I can do it. Ah, getting so close. I don't think I'm quite going to be able to do it. No. And that's it. It's over. Might be able to get that ever screen before. Yeah, all right. Well, that was something. Oh, man. Only got to wave 14. So close, but yet so far. Oh, man. Well, you know what? It was still pretty fun, and I did get some cool things. This hurtful North Pole. Well, it's just called a North Pole. It, uh, it's kind of like a spear, but it drops all these little ice crystals and stuff, which is nice. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this money. Yeah, and they do a lot of damage whenever they hit anything, which is kind of nice. Um, uh, get it? Nice. Ice? Ah, uh, never mind. Um, but yeah, and I also got a chain gun. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, this thing is a very rapid fire gun. It is very nice to have if you're into guns. I strongly recommend pairing it with the uh, chlorophyte bullets because otherwise it's pretty inaccurate. But with this, it just goes to town. Oh man, let me try it out actually. Oh, I don't know if it'll, yeah, it doesn't hold in on that one. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah, it's so awesome. Oh man, well, you know what? That was great. I feel like we did get a lot done. Um, As far as this goes, maybe we'll try to conquer wave 15 sometime in the future, but doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do it for today. But anyway, look at it. I did still get some pretty nice stuff. There's still a few other items that you can get from the uh, the frost moon. But eh, you know what? I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. This North Pole is really cool. <laughs> I like it. Uh, it. It's just awesome. Like you can shoot. It doesn't have auto swing. That's kind of a shame, but it is still pretty nice. Um, in fact, here, let me actually go show you against the targets. The test dummies. The guinea pigs. Yeah, see the, uh, the ice itself will, like, land and damage stuff. So it's, I don't know. I, I just kind of liked it for some reason. All right, well, I guess we're going to leave it at that for today. Uh, there's still plenty more to do. Although we're running very close to the end, actually. So... I think, uh, I think I know what's coming up next. We're gonna change the world yet again. We're gonna fight against another very, uh, well, not really a tough boss, but a boss that will mark the beginning of the end. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Terraria Adventure. See you next time, lunatics. Oh, yeah.